Well, at first I must apologise for doing a voiceover for this final part. The Uncharted from the games to the movie. I really wanted to do a voice and a piece of the camera. A voice to piece the camera. Well, you know what I mean. But I thought I would do the last one in this format. A voiceover format. Yes, so welcome to the PGM Show. I'm your host, Peter Ward McKinnon. And yes, again, this is Uncharted. From the games to the movies. This is the sum up. The sum of the entire weeks and months I've had to give to you, the people of YouTube, to enjoy the Uncharted storyline. I've talked to friends, I've mentioned this to your friends from the YouTube channels that I watch that have played this game and loved it immensely, as I have. I have talked to you about my childhood growing up playing in arcade game parlors, small and big, playing the arcade games and loving the games like Gallagher, Space Invaders, set in Star Wars, Star Wars, ah, Star Wars, games and game parlors and pinball and the like. Also, I've talked to you about the consoles we've had at home. The Commodore 64s, Atari, Spectrum and the games with the James Bond, with the PS4, PS3, PS5 and the digital and the technology age and the digital age that has taken online gaming by storm. Because you can sit at home day or night and really play with friends all over the world. So the evolution of game parlors and big gaming consoles, games, electronics with your mates Yes, you can still do that, but really, mainly, people stay at home and play on their PS, PS's, or their Xboxes, or even their PCs at home, and that's okay. So the evolution has gone in the way of digital and mocaps, because it brings me to the Uncharted games. Although the Uncharted game started on PS3 and it probably wasn't a mocap suit, somebody could probably correct me on that, and please do. But on the Uncharted 3, at this end, there was a lot of mocap motion going on. With, yes, actors on in suits, doing the T-bar, getting it all lined up, and then you act the scene, and then you do it over and over again. It takes months and years. With that process being, and that story telling, in telling this wonderful story from Uncharted 1, and then 2, and then 3, and then 4, and even on uh, Legacy, which I'm not going into, that had Sam, Drake in there, and Nadine, and Chloe, also a great game, this franchise, franchise's story and storyline was absolutely wonderful. Wonderful in the notion of how these two characters met, I mean Ali and Nathan, and then how the story revolved around treasure and treasure hunting and not getting that treasure because all the lost cities really destroy themselves and the myths destroyed it for them they only came 
up with golden trinkets. But in the first one, yes, in the first one, Sully came away with a chest or a trunk of gold. So they could further on their adventures. But it's just not that for me. Yes, the gameplay was great in some places, be it difficult in times of aiming in the collection, one from three, but four was awesome because it had a different element but kept it in the same element. But it had such a good through line, subtext and text to actually really evolve the characters, involve the characters and unite them in such a beautiful story and end to it. It gave the characters of Sam, Drake, Ellie, Sully, Chloe, even Chloe, Nadine, and all these other characters a really good line, not a fine line, but a great thick line so you can follow. A backstory to them. Even the villains had a backstory. Rafe had a backstory. And it really showed. It showed for me, that was my opinion. So, with all that being said, let's get in to it now. Neil Druckmann and the Naughty Dog crew gave us and me a whole new genre. Well, not such a genre, but a whole new look on how games and gaming stories can be told. He was going to do a Ratchet and Clank upgrade, but really, that really fell apart. And it fell apart because they wanted a new IP. They wanted to do something different. So they did. They found Uncharted and they found Nathan Drake and Ellie's story fine. With a well-written character, Nathan Drake, and around that, a good cast of characters that evolved in time and in place. That was perfect. Because when I got told about this story and this game from a friend of Michael Young, and really, bless him for that, I fell in love with this whole, whole game. This, all of it. From Drake's Fortune to uh, Uncharted 2, Uncharted 3, Uncharted 4, and even, dare I say it, the one I'm not talking about is Chloe, Chloe's one, Legacy. And uh, long may it evolve into this goodness that I'm hearing about, the reboot of Uncharted. But it doesn't really stop uh, from there. Naughty Dog has gone on to create some wonderful and imaginative and very gruesome and very apt and very fantastical storylines in The Last of Us and Last of Us 2 and made that continue. And it will, and it has. I've heard on the grapevine, good things are coming out of Naughty Dog. Whether you like it or not, this game, it's got something for everyone. Fun, laughter, thrills, spills, action. The gameplay on Thief's End is just awesome. The comedy is just brilliantly funny. The dry sense of humor, the sarcasticness of Drake, and sometimes uh, Sully, and Ally, and it, it, it just blends, it just flows. With the tenderness, the arc of Ally's marriage nearly breaking up because Nathan lied, it, it's all there. It is a romantic 
comedy, it's a comedy, it's drama, it's action, it's got all that you want. A treasure hunt and just a fantastic world building sense of wonder. Going from jungle, going from Madagascar, going from uh, cities, going to sand, going to sea, going to, I mean, deserts, I mean, going to uh, dense forests, jungles, you name it, it has it. And that's the world building of these guys. These brainiacs, these monumental uh, treasure hunters themselves to actually seek out the story and give it gravitas. I could go on, I could do uh, the injustice of these games by talking about it, which I am, you've just got to go and play them for yourselves. You'll have wondrous and wonderful, fun, action-packed times. I've heard from Mark Shabby Geek that he has played them and he has enjoyed them. I don't want to put the words in his in in mouth, but he said they are brilliant. And I would agree. So, from all this summer, all this food for thought, that these games parlors that I've spent my childhood in, spending 20 cents or more in a slot, playing Gallagher or playing Space Invaders, playing all these types of pinball games and space and Star Wars games alike, and then evolving to even buy PS3s, PS4s, and they are PS5s I'm staring at in my lounge room. Having the added bonus to go out and buy them still in a shop. I mean, the physical media games, but also to have that chance to play online with mates across the world in digital and online form. These games, these storylines from Naughty Dog are getting better and better and better. They're still using mocap suits and mocap, but really their digital enhancements of even the Uncharted games are just second to none. And really, uh, the games that are evolving now that you can put your phone into these eye goggle things and uh, play a very realistic game is just and has intensified the gaming world. And it will get more and more technologically advanced, more digitally digitally advanced in years to come. But I'm going to come back to this game time and time again. This Uncharted storyline is fun, this frigging, this this soul relaxing game that makes me laugh, it makes me cry in the storyline, it makes me want to play this again and again and again. Naughty Dog, for me, has hit all these games out of the park. Right out of the park for me. I think Naughty Dog has really cornered the market, in my opinion, with Uncharted, even with Ratchet and Clank, and Crash Bandicoot. And now, they're seeking new heights in Last of Us 3, I hear on the grapevine. They're seeking new heights in The Last of Us Factions, which will be an online gaming franchise to uh, keep on going with Last of Us and with their new IP which looks medievalish it has to get better and it does get better and it has got better and, and it has got 
gotten better. Anyway, enough of me wobbling. That is my sum up. I hope you have enjoyed this Uncharted from the games to the movie parts in weeks and months. I do, however, have an extra bonus for you. I said this when I was going to do sum up that I was going to review Nathan Drake, the game Nathan Drake action figure, not all North's mocap action figure, but action figure review, if that makes any sense. And that's going to be another really final finish to the Uncharted from the game to the movies, movie, singular, not plural, end to this amazing story. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, I've been your host, Peter Gordon McKenna. This has been Uncharted from the games to the movie. I hope you are all having a wondrous, fun time and gearing up for 2023. For me here in New Zealand, it is New Year's Eve and I take away from 2022 a sense of happiness, gladness that I've met so many wonderful friends across the world from the UK to USA to Canada to Japan and here in this part of the world Australia and New Zealand so thank you one and all for including me in to all your toy communities your action figure collecting toy communities from me Peter Gordon McKinnon thank you so much and so I oh if I haven't said it take care stay safe and I'll see you next year my tag would be the film my only criticism of this film really it was criticized by me to be not well received in my opinion I watched it again second time around the first time around I liked it second time around with playing the games I came away with the games being better as storylines. The storyline of the film was all over the place. It was chopping and changing. It didn't introduce Ellie. It introduced Chloe as a bad girl, bad man, a villain, like anti-hero. I didn't know which side she was on. And I didn't like Mark Wahlberg and Sally either. He didn't have his moustache on. They said it wasn't going to be exactly like the Uncharted games, but really, I think it should have been. I think they should have introduced Ellie. Elena, sorry. Uh, Elena, not Ellie. <laughs> Thinking about Last of Us. They should have done that, but they didn't. That was missed. It was missed out. Only thing I enjoyed was the music when he put his shoulder holster on, all the Uncharted music, being Nathan Drake, uh, and Nolan North's cameo, isn't it? That's all I enjoyed. I'm sorry, I said to you, if you like it, you like it, uh, good, R do like it. Um, uh, big ups to you, but for me, I didn't like it. And sorry for putting this on a tag. I forgot to put this in a the lineup, the lineup sum up. So that's the sum up of this film. The games are better. Uh, 
for me, my, in my opinion. The games had a lot more storyline. It had a lot more feeling in it. This was just, yes, action-packed, and it was good action-packed. I, again, I, that's the bit I liked, but it was just all over the place. It was just not there for me. So that's my opinion, and that's my sum-up of this film. The games outweighed the movie for me. Okay, cheers. Take care. Stay safe. See you later.